So this is our iAVS system and it's just in its real infancy and we're running experiments on it. We're really desirous of uh, proving the work of Dr. Mark McMurtry and he wrote his papers back in, I think 1984 or 85, something like that, uh, where he made some really amazing claims about how well the system works and the way in which it closes the nutrient gap. Most aquaponic systems do not produce quite enough nutrients to give good plant growth. So this we're hoping with the microbiology that should set up in the sand, uh, we should be able to get really good results. Now we've been actually running it for about four or five months already, but we've just made some major changes to it, and that is putting in a bigger fish tank with more fish in it, and uh, we now have 150 uh, jade perch in this tank, which are all fairly mature, so we're gonna be able to get some good feed rates into it now so we can try and get the uh, plants to grow really well. But you can see already, have a look at these beans here. Look at these beans, this bean bush. It's just a single bean bush growing in the end of the sand bed. Look at the health of the leaves. Look at the colour of them. They're just in beautiful condition and they're flowering now. We've been picking beans off this particular bush now for about three or four weeks. And we pick a handful of beans every day. You can see them coming on here. Look, new little beans. Look at that. Beautiful purple beans. Plenty of them. And the bush is in such really good condition. Okay, follow me a bit further. We've already had one tomato crop out of this. And we've actually ditched those... Um, most of those tomato bushes and planted fresh ones because now that we've introduced a new fish tank with more fish in it and more control over what we're doing we want to start off with some fresh tomato bushes you can see we've planted some beautiful little seedlings we've been raising around here different varieties we've got some uh, cherry tomatoes yellow and red and we've got some large tomatoes like Grosvissi and another one called Mary uh, and some different ones that we just planted randomly so we can see what kind of effect we get out of that because in reality the test for aquaponics and for any gardener is growing tomatoes. It's fairly easy to grow lettuce, you can grow them fairly easily and other leafy greens, but tomatoes have a very high nutrient demand. So the trick is to be able to grow good tomatoes. If you can do that, then you can do the rest, no problem. So you can see over here, we're, as part of the um, uh, test we're doing, we're also running a really nice um, uh, raft bed off the same water. So we can see if that grows well as an attachment to that, because I think in a commercial situation, if we had an IABS system growing our tomatoes and other fruiting plants and providing nutrient for the rest of the system, then we should be able to grow, we think, good tomatoes off it, sorry, be able to grow good lettuce and other leafy greens off it. As you can see, these are going quite well. We've actually, in the period of time, been running this, we've had actually three harvests out of this already that we've sent off to the charity that we support. So these are coming along really well. You can see they're lovely and, lovely and healthy and they're doing really well. So no problem in growing lettuce. As I said, they're fairly easy to grow and other leafy greens but you can see the condition of them and one thing I'd like to point out to you is no insects so we've really got our insect control down to a fine art now and uh, we just love the fact that we've got a really clean greenhouse uh, normally by this time of the year because it's now not officially summer for a couple more days but we've had extremely hot weather which is great weather for insects and normally they would be in this greenhouse munching away and going for their life but you can see we leave our greenhouses open we don't close them down because we've got a little bit of ventilation and we're in and out so much that we don't try and keep the insects out. We've got our insect control working really well. Now come with me a bit further up here and we'll see some of the plants. Now, this is the other uh, raft bed we've got attached to the IABS system. And you can see we've got some beautiful lettuce growth. These are going to be taken out in the next few minutes. Actually, the charity will turn up to take them away. But I want you to have a look at the, uh, the basil, or basil as we call it here in Australia. You can see what good condition. Just touch basil basil and you get that beautiful aroma that you get in the greenhouse. And I just want to show you a close-up of the leaves of this. Now, believe it or not, that's ever so slightly nutrient deficient, ever so slightly, but not much, but it's really in good condition overall. And once again, notice that uh, the plants are so healthy and ready to be taken and put into a tomato pesto or a pesto of some sort. Another. Yep. So there we go. Now we've got one more sand bed I want to show you. We've just harvested out of here a whole lot of broccoli, and this is the last bush which is still yet to come to maturity. Um, and we'll harvest that out when it's finished. But I just want to point out these special plants we're growing here on behalf of a pharmaceutical company actually at the moment. And these plants, I can't give you the name offhand because I just can't think of it, but they're said to have some really good um, health benefits. So we're going to try and grow them here to see what, what, what we can do with them and see how well they do grow. Because if they do grow well, it could be a really good crop for an aquaponics farmer to grow and earn a good living off. So that's another interesting thing that we're doing in our sand beds. 
This entire IAVS system is really interesting for a lot of reasons. Now, when we've finally proven it, and we're going to do another four or five months yet of lab tests, uh, taking leaf samples, sending them off to the lab to find out what's exactly in the plant, and also water samples. We've already done one round of that, uh, but that's before we put the new fish tank in. And when we do that next round of those tests, we'll, we'll eventually publish them and we'll make a segment in our aquaponics design course where that information will be shared with our design course students. And I think this sand bed system, so far, all indications are it's very, very exciting and a really good thing to do. But we'll see what happens over time.